Hi, I'm Mayor Jane Castor. This April, during National Crime Victim Rights Week, I want those in our community who have been affected by crime to know you are not alone. Between our local law enforcement and state attorney's office, there is vital work being done every day to support your healing and ensure that justice is served. Thank you for your courage. Thank you for your strength. And thank you to everyone in our community who joins me and our commitment to keeping Tampa safe. Hi, Chief Burkaw here of the Tampa Police Department. We do not want anyone ever to be a victim of a crime, but in the unfortunate circumstance that that does happen, we're gonna go above and beyond to make sure that we take care of our crime victims. That's why I've established a full-time crime victims advocate. Of course, whatever we can do to take care of our crime victims, we're here to assist. Hi, I'm Cindy Stewart, your Clerk of the Court and Comptroller. During Crime Victims Rights Week, let's take a moment to appreciate the incredible partnerships that we have forged here in Hillsborough County. My team and I are committed to finding innovative ways to collaborate with our partners in State Attorney Susie Lopez's office, Julianne Holt in her Office of the Public Defender, Chad Cronister's Office of the Sheriff, and the 13th Judicial Circuit Court. Together, we're supporting crime victims, removing unnecessary obstacles within the court system with purpose and thoughtful compassion. Welcome to the Victims Resource Fair in observance of National Crime Victims Rights Week. This year's theme is How Would You Help? Options, Services, and Hope for Crime Victims. My name is Harry Cohen, and on behalf of the Hillsborough County Board of County Commissioners, we are pleased and proud to stand today with our partners in the criminal justice sector to offer you services and resources that can help you navigate this challenging time. We stand with all crime victims, and we are here to help. Hello, I'm Tampa City Councilwoman Gwendolyn Henderson. During this National Crime Victims Rights Week, Let's unite in our commitment to support survivors in our community. Our strength lies in our compassion and the resources we provide as community leaders to uplift those affected by crime. All survivors and loved ones of crime victims deserve respect, support, and justice. And I support the state attorney's office in its efforts to deliver just that.